All right, so this is where we left uh, when we performed the DC sweep, where we sweep, uh, where we swept the source VDC from 0 to 5 volt. Now in the um, last tutorial in this series on the DC simulations, I would like to perform the DC parametric sweep, where we would like to sweep this source as we were doing uh, in the previous video, but we would also like to do this DC sweep for a number of different uh, value of this resistor. So we will vary uh, this parameter for example and we will keep on sweeping this. So to that end it's very simple and similar perhaps to the previous case. All that you have to do is to uh, define one more var block by taking one more var block from here or you can add another variable right here. So let's define a variable here, RV. And for now, the value of that RV, the variable resistor doesn't matter. So I will just click add. So I already had a variable here. And now we, I have another variable and press OK. So now I have two variables here. Then I will change, of course, this number to RV. So I have this variable RV. And since we wanted, we are interested in parametric sweep, so I will grab this parametric sweep controller from here and I will put it here somewhere. It's so big, press escape and zoom fit. Now here, what do you want to sweep is, I will, remember, I will keep this DC sweep as we did earlier because we are interested in sweeping the voltage. But we want to plot this for a number of different values of RV. So that's why we are changing this parameter here. So let's go here and let's say that we wanted to change RV. And we want to plot it for 1 to uh, 5 kilo ohms in a steps of 1. So 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm. So we want to do DC sweep, but for different value of R, 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm, 3 kilo ohm, 4 kilo ohm. So this is how you do it, They're using the parametric sweep. Then don't forget to mention the simulation controller here. So it is important in this case that you mention the name of the simulator controller that you want to sweep uh, this variable for. So the name of this DC uh, controller is DC1. So I will type in DC1. So that DC is the type of the simulator. And this DC1 is the instance of that simulator. So that's what we are going to use. If you can, your schematic can have multiple of these DC controller, DC1, DC2, and so on. So that's why I'm going to use this DC1 here, because that's what I have in my schematic. Oh, again, I forgot to, I, I wanted to do the voltage divider underscore three. Uh, and so this simulator, this schematic is set up, but let me see if did I change. I think I saved so it's changed. So let me delete those things from there and go here and say cut and press OK. So that goes back to the original schematic of two. And now this new schematic we have here. All right, so this way we have this simulation set up for parametric sweep. And what I will do here is I will hit the run button and it will simulate the circuit. And again, because I'm expecting graphical results, so press out and add versus in. Okay, and press okay. This is what we will expect here. Then again, there are a couple of things that I should be doing. First of all, if I put my cursor here, I know that this is for resistor 1 kilo ohm. So this is how it looks like. And we, that's what we expect that when both resistors, excuse me, when both resistors are equal, then in that case, if the applied input voltage is 5 volt, the output voltage should be 5, 2.5 volt, half of the original voltage, applied voltage. And as you increase that resistor, uh, there will be more drop across that resistor, so the voltage will drop a bit. Uh, the thing that I wanted to show you is just double click on this plot or any one of those plots 
and of course you can change it to two uh, to take in this plot and that will be useful when you are capturing this and putting this in your report uh, because if you capture the thinner line it won't show you there then I also wanted to change the line color for each of those steps so I will just highlight this check this one and sequence first so it will this will get priority and it will change all the different lines press ok so you can see from here that now it is being shown using a different line so uh, this is pretty much it and then uh, you can also insert a legend by just right clicking on this and then say insert uh, sorry legend so this is for corresponding to different value of r if you want it so there are so many different possibilities a very user friendly kind of uh, software and uh, I just wanted to show you one more thing the access so I don't like when you are copying this into your uh, word file for example you see how this text uh, the access text is very tiny so you go here more and say for example change this to maybe uh, AC bowl or change this font size to for example 12 and something like that press escape so this is how it will look like now if you copy this it will look nicer in a similar manner I can go here plot uh, x-axis and change this to uh, bold and change this to 12 and press ok and now if you copy this it will look nicer in your word file so this completes the tutorial on DC uh, analysis uh, using ADS and of course you will apply similar technique for the other circuit as well not just for voltage divider so we covered DC operating point analysis then DC sweep analysis and DC parametric sweep analysis the three videos corresponding to those three different type of analysis I hope you find this video useful thank you very much for your time and watching this